U.S. officials say the latest intelligence indicates al-Qaeda terrorists have been working on new shoe bomb designs. That's what prompted the Department of Homeland Security to warn airlines to be on the lookout. While there's no specific target, the warning pertains to flights from at least 25 cities overseas into the U.S. Johannesburg, Paris, London, Cairo, cities in the Middle East are on the list. This is not believed to be connected to the recent warning about toothpaste bombs like this one. But there's one man, a 31-year-old college dropout named Ibrahim al-Asiri, who terrorism experts say could be connected to this threat. This is just the kind of device he is trying to build and has built in the past. U.S. intelligence officials tell CNN, Ibrahim al-Asiri is, quote, the best bomb maker we know of in any al-Qaeda affiliate. They believe he's hiding in Yemen, operating in the shadows. Working with the group al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, al-Asiri, intelligence officials say, designed the underwear bomb which failed to detonate at the last minute on a Detroit-bound plane in 2009. And it was his printer cartridge bombs which, the following year, got onto cargo planes bound for the U.S. Demonstrations of those types of bombs showed they could have brought down airliners. While those plots were foiled, in each case, al-Asiri displayed a frightening ability to get bombs past airport security, and experts say he's learned from his mistakes. How determined is Ibrahim al-Asiri to kill Americans and their allies? This is a very cold customer. I mean, this is a guy who recruited a, a brother to go and do a suicide attack using an underwear bomb to kill a, a leading Saudi prince. The Saudi counter-terror chief survived that 2009 attack. Al-Asiri's brother Abdullah was killed. This video shows the brothers embracing just before the mission. U.S. intelligence officials say they're hunting for Ibrahim al-Asiri, but... Even if he is taken out, he is now training other recruits in the art of making these very sophisticated explosive devices which can bypass normal airport security. And al-Asiri has likely had access to military quality explosives and chemicals. Analysts say when al-Qaeda captured a lot of territory in Yemen in 2011, it also overran some military bases. Some of them have since been taken back, but experts say Ibrahim al-Asiri likely had access to labs and other facilities which would have enhanced his capabilities, Wolf, and that's what scares U.S. officials right yeah, now. Yeah, he's obviously a dangerous guy. Uh, thanks very much, Brian Todd, for that. Uh